Welcome to Open Your Reality, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chad. You know, I wanted this video to come out two or three days ago, and it didn't, so I apologize. I mean, it's sometimes very difficult to make these videos. Everything has to go right. The lighting, the camera, everything. These videos are never perfect anyway, but um, I tried to shoot this video a couple of times and I really didn't like the way it came out. So if I don't like the way something comes out or if I'm not feeling inspired by an idea, even if I shoot the video, I just don't put it out. And that's one of the reasons why I sometimes don't put videos out every day. Now, a couple of days ago was a palindrome date, 2-22-2022. And if you don't know, a palindrome reads the same both forwards and backwards. And the next palindrome date won't be until January 20th, 3021. So about a thousand years from now. So that's how special 2-22-2022 was. Just pointing it out. Now, I've been reading this book. It's called Between Life and Death by Dolores Cannon. And if you don't know, Dolores Cannon was a past life regression therapist and she regressed hundreds, if not over a thousand people to the between life state and to their previous incarnations. And in chapter 14 of this book, she talks about something called imprinting. And I had never come across this idea before. It's something that I didn't hear Dr. Michael Newton talk about in his books. It's not something that I heard Tom Campbell or anybody else talk about. So I'm gonna tell you about a pretty radical idea here that you may have never heard about in the spirit world. And I don't want you to take this as gospel. I want you to take this with a grain of salt because this is just one patient in one chapter of Dolores Cannon's many books. But anyway, the, the basis is this, that we as souls can have other people's lives imprinted into our memories, not just our memory, but our aura, who we are. We take those lives with us. It's almost as if we've lived them. Now she asked a patient if he had many lives on earth and the patient said that this was his first true incarnation on earth, but that he had many imprints. And Cannon was puzzled by it as she, she never heard a patient really talk about that before. And this patient said that with imprinting, one can have, let's say, five actual lives, but have lived 500 imprinted lives and have those experiences. And I'm going to explain how this is done, but basically a soul can draw information from the Akashic records, basically the database, and imprint the information into their soul, and it will then be their experience. So, like I said, a soul can have even one life, but have lived 100 times, with the imprints. And as I said before, the imprint is so real that the soul itself cannot tell the difference between an imprint life and a real one. So if you were being regressed by a past life regression therapist, now remember, this don't take this as gospel. This is something, an, an idea that I'm exploring here. But if you were supposedly regressed to a past life, you would not be sure if that was your actual past life or an imprint. That's how powerful these imprints are according to this patient that Dr. Cannon was regressing. Now, all the emotions, the memories, the feelings, they come along with the imprint and the soul is completely absorbed in the imprint. And the whole idea is to have lived hundreds, or maybe thousands of years on a planet where you've never actually been. You've, maybe you've never been to that planet. Now, supposedly new souls to earth would be completely lost without the ability to use imprints. Otherwise, one would not know the customs, religions, politics, and the social behavior of the planet. It's funny because scientists tell us that babies learn and absorb all they need from their surroundings in the first 10 years of life or so. It's really interesting that as babies, we can learn a language in like three or four years, whereas sometimes it takes a lot longer to learn when you're an adult especially the accent. The accent always gets you. Actually, the Count of Saint Germain knew like 14 languages and spoke each of them with a native accent, but he was the Count of Saint Germain. <laughs> uh, but apparently it seems that according to this patient of Dr. Cannon's, we rely much more on our subconscious mind 
than people realize to assimilate all the information that we need to know to interact in this world. Especially if it's our first, second, or even third incarnation here, actual incarnation. Now imprints become in reality a part of that soul and they're carried with the soul. And this could absolutely explain why more than one person has claimed to have lived a particular life. Like the famous examples are always Napoleon and Cleopatra. People claim to be Abraham Lincoln. People claim to be, you know, Caesar. I was Caesar, I was Jesus, I was Buddha. Well, maybe they were because there's no proprietorship to these imprints and they are open to everyone. And so it becomes meaningless after a while to determine who the person is who actually lived that life. Imprinted lives could also explain parallel lives, two lives apparently occurring at the same time. But the overall aim is to learn from other people's lives. And there is no limit to how many souls could use one particular life as an imprint. Thousands of people could imprint the same life simultaneously. Because remember, souls are not actually living the life. They're just taking the memories, the essence of it, and putting it into their soul. And what's interesting is that on page 249 of the book, the patient says that there is a master computer which has access to all the lives ever lived. And the computer selects which imprints are needed. You know, it's very interesting because that master computer is something that Tom Campbell talks an awful lot about in his MBT theory. Anyway, these imprints are then selected by the computer and they are overlaid onto the soul. Now there is a hierarchy of spirits whose job it is to do this as well. And the spirit didn't particularly say the council of elders, but said a council oversees this. Could be the council of elders. But a soul can refuse an imprint if it wants as well. Because the soul has free will, it has the final say. So interestingly, the imprints the soul receives are carried over after the incarnation is over. Like I said, it stays with them. And the imprint does not assist in working off karma. In case you're wondering, you're probably wondering that, and you might be asking why every soul doesn't just imprint rather than live actual lives. Well, if that happened, nobody would experience true lives and make free will decisions. And so in essence, nobody would learn and nobody would evolve. And there would be no other lives to imprint from after a while and things would come to a gradual standstill. So there must be real actual lives being lived. Now, imprints are placed upon the soul by the time of birth, but extra imprints, according to the patient, are available whenever necessary. And they're seamless too. You would never know that an imprint was put upon you. It's kind of like Total Recall in a way, a little bit, you know, like the movie Total Recall, where like these false memories were implanted in Arnold Schwarzenegger, or, you know, with Colin Farrell, the new one. I don't know. I like the old one better. Hopefully you do too. <laughs> the old movies are usually better. Now you might be wondering if famous people like Jesus and Buddha, as I said earlier, can be imprinted. And the answer is absolutely yes. You can choose anybody. However, you probably wouldn't do it just for fun. A lot of people think that it would just be cool or it would be fun or entertaining to you know, do these type of things, to have these magic superpowers or just imprint anybody's lives or mess with people. But the whole point of this is to evolve your soul. So if it didn't help evolve your soul and you wanted to imprint the life of Jesus, if the computer, the LCS, decided it was not something that's in your benefit, it would not allow you to do so. So remember guys, everything is done with the point of evolving us. Here's the thing, I, I'm not totally sold on the idea. I'm just presenting this new idea. This channel is not about me <laughs> preaching to you about what's right and what's wrong. All I ever wanted to do was explore some of the ideas I come across, present them to you, and you guys can make up your own minds. For instance, I know a lot of you do not believe in free will. You believe that this whole reality is being played out and we're all like puppets. You know, we're all going towards some final destiny. And I am not saying that I don't believe that. I do believe free will is probably we have free will and we're not all just automatons like marching to this one destiny that source is laid out for us. But I completely understand the other side of the argument and I'll look at it from time to time. 
And I always hold it out as a possibility. I never close anything off. So I just want to point that out. Just take all this with a grain of salt because I am not sold on this idea of imprints until I see more proof. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Found it at least a little interesting, entertaining, and hope we could get past 10 minutes of your time in a good way. Thank you for tuning in to another Open Reality video. Please subscribe to the channel, give me a like, and I'll see you all guys in the next video. As always, or maybe not always, <laughs> Namaste. Mm -hmm.